already using ScreenFlow and you're wondering how you can edit it a little bit faster, then stay tuned because we'll be going over that coming up. Hi, Demelza Marie here with Creative Online Courses and on this channel I guide you through tips and tutorials to crush it with visual media and produce your online courses like a boss. I also go behind the scenes with a vlog of what it's like to be a mom entrepreneur, so if you're new here please consider subscribing. Now as I mentioned in the introduction, you might already be using ScreenFlow but you might not know a few little tips and tricks to make your editing go a little faster, so we're going to dive into those right now. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is just show you how to scale the video. So for one thing, we often want to have um, a small picture of us in the on the screen and a larger picture um, of the screen itself. Um, so basically, I've got the screen right here and um, I want to make that smaller so I can actually see the screen behind it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this, which actually highlights this video clip right here. And I'm going to go to the video section here and add an action. And I don't want it all the way at the end. I want to probably put the action here and go to action. And now you can see that an action has been added here. Now I want to scale it down so that it's smaller. And I also want to move it to the bottom right hand corner here. So now if I play, Okay, so now you can see it went down into the right corner as an action. Now if you want to extend that action and make it longer, you can just click on it and drag it and you can make it really long if you want. Um, and now if I go through, um, you can see that, let's go back a little bit further, it's a little bit slower as it goes down. Now a quick tip for um, if you want to, let's say at the end of your clip, bring it back up again so that it's back to original size, instead of actually having to go through the process of adding another action and that kind of thing, you can go to um, the actions up here and then go to add snapback action and video and then that's going to give you the option where it comes back so it'll return back to the size that it was before. So um, if you are wanting to use the scale feature, that is a really good thing to know. Um, and uh, if you want to zoom in on this screen up here, you can use command and then the plus sign or command and the minus sign, and that will increase and decrease that. If you don't push the command button and just push the plus sign, it increases the timeline and the, min the minus key decreases the timeline. So you can very easily um, zoom in and zoom out on either the screen here or the timeline, depending on your preference. Um, the other thing is if you want to split a clip, so let's say I wanted to split this clip, um, well let's go to, well yeah, why not, just right here. Um, a shortcut you can use is the letter T, and if you just push T, it will split that clip into two. Now if you wanted to, it's probably not going to work in this case, but if you wanted to, you could move this across and you can see here that you have a transition appearing. So you have, the longer you have, bring it over, the more transition period you've got. So if I go over to here, you can see a transition, which is a very bad transition example, but um, it's um, there if you want to, and it's a very easy thing to add. Um, if you go to the audio section over here, you can see that you can adjust the volume. So if it's too quiet, you can increase it and uh, you can even mute the audio altogether. So if you don't want that audio to appear at all, so for example, if there's a lot of, um, so if you recorded the tapping of your keys or things like that, you can actually mute that audio and it won't actually show up at all. Those are the main things I wanted to show you um, just quickly on how to do that. Um, again, I do actually want to show you here, annotations. So if I want to add an annotation, I go to the plus sign and I've got an arrow here, for example. So let's say I wanted to quickly point out my, well, let, let's point out my clapperboard here. So you can add an annotation and that shows up at the top here. That again, you can decrease the length of it just by 
dragging to the side as long as you want it to to um for the duration to last um it can be a line it can be squares um so if i wanted to highlight um myself and my son <laughs> um you can do that obviously you can change the opacity you can change the thickness so it's not quite so thick all of these different things so those are two ways um uh, you can annotate your um, document. So if you're wanting to highlight something important, um, obviously I'm not really important highlighting anything very important there, but you can do that. And again, if you want to add text, you can get this and um, important text here. Um, and you can, so that's showing up here. You can move that around. You can put it wherever you like. Um, if I click on it here, I can then move it to the screen, for example. And if I then play it, you can now see that the annotations have shown up here and the important text has arrived there. And you can change the lengths of those just by changing the duration in the okay. timeline here. Okay, so those are just a couple of tips that I hope will help you with your editing. And uh, let me know in the comment section below if any of those tips were particularly helpful for you, or if you have any other tips you want to share as well, that would be great. And if you're interested in more tips and tutorials on visual media or building online courses, or what it's like behind the scenes of a mum building your business, then please hit that subscribe button and you can view a couple more videos right here, right now. And if you like this video, please hit the like button and we will talk soon.